Good evening, everybody. Sponge Daddy Hawk here, coming to you from the Hawk's Airy, my home, our home. Counting my blessings and naming them one by one. This is how I give thanks every day for a different blessing in my life. Rather than focusing on the negative, I'll focus on the positive. Uh, most often, the positive is things people take for granted, overlook, whatever. Tonight, I'm going to give thanks for, well... All right, first you have to understand, uh, I do not like processed foods. I don't believe in processed foods. Um, I have two theories about Crohn's disease. One of them, Crohn's does not exist in countries where they immunize children. You can take that for what it's worth. But also, it doesn't exist in countries where they don't have processed foods. So that's something to think on. I just don't believe in them. They have MSG and other things that are impure and bad for the body bad for the digestive system and my system is so sensitive I have to be extra careful all right so anyway I'm going to show you something normally I don't eat processed foods but tonight we're going to have tuna casserole peas and rice so we've got basically two processed foods <sighs> mass-produced tuna and then peas now I could sit here and lament to you how I'm eating processed foods and having to eat this because we're poor uh, and that's the reason you know I can't we can only afford meat one night a week that is if you don't consider fish to be a meat uh, we can only afford meat one night a week that's all we have I could sit here and complain about it but uh, in one of my notes on Facebook I have a post called what is it and at the top, there's a picture of a, com a comparison of a week's worth of groceries here in the United States and a week's worth of groceries in Chad. Now, some of you might say, oh, I can't eat that stuff, blah, 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 cheap, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, you're not like me, and I've never gone hungry. And I mean, for days, no food. It's happened to me. So I have learned how to live super cheap. And in order to have meat that one day a week, we have to do the cheap. And this uh, tuna casserole here from this lovely tuna helper tetrazzini. Not the best food in the world, but it's food. And it, uh, I can feed six people for less than ten bucks, okay? Sometimes that's what you gotta do. You know, if you look at the weeks worth of groceries in Chad, they have beans, rice, and uh, another grain. And that's it. And then I see these kids sitting at the supper table complaining, or at restaurants complaining, you know, I don't like that. Heck, I was one of them. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have, to be able to have this here. And the butter and the milk that's going to be needed to make them. And the cooking spray that will keep my casserole dish from getting ruined. Uh, I'm truly grateful the Lord has blessed me with food on my plate uh, I I have a bad um, hang up about making sure there's food for my family and if there's not enough I, I do without that's just the way it is um, it's a phobia of mine uh, some of you that are close to me know why I have this problem I'm not going to share it here because I don't want to disparage a single person but these things happen and I've gone to bed hungry many days and many nights so I'm thankful to our creator that at least I have this processed food to fill our tummies tonight and it does have some nutrition and tuna is high in protein and rice is good on carbs and, uh, but I am so grateful to our creator to have that and I think about all these spoiled brats you know first of all I see at a restaurant complaining about uh, mushroom on the pizza. You know what kid be thankful your parents can afford to take you out to get pizza Or I see not even kids. I mean teenagers. I don't like that Obviously, they haven't known what it's like to go hungry. We are so spoiled in the United States We have so much that we take all of it for granted I am fortunate enough to uh, have been down this road with a low grocery budget many times and uh, I've even got numerous recipes on my Facebook and my notes called The Poor Gourmet. And uh, I'm inviting any of you that are on my Facebook 
to please uh, send me copies in an instant message of any recipe you have that will feed four people with leftovers for less than twelve dollars I will credit you and put you in the recipes as uh, making this and you have to come up with a name for it and it, it'll be the poor gourmet okay and I've got quite a few in there eventually I'd like to start my own Facebook page a separate Facebook page just for this to help people you know, that are broke eat and eat well so I am grateful that we have food tonight I lo always look forward to the meat on the weekends but today it's tuna casserole and I am thankful that at least we have that for there are many people in this country and around the world that will go to bed without food tonight so as you sit there I want you to realize how blessed you are I am too but remember bad times are inevitable misery is optional just refuse to be miserable. Swore by the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord. May blessings be well.